Okay, once your students have uh, prepared a screencast, uh, it's important to do a couple things uh, to teach them how to turn it in appropriately. First of all, I always have them title the screencast. Otherwise, uh, it'll just say untitled screencast. And these actually are all saved to a folder in their Google Drive called Screencastify. And so if they haven't been naming their screencasts, it'll look like this and they'll have no idea what screencast is what without opening it up and watching it. But if they name them, I can see here's my about me, here's my history of photojournalism, how to thing link, and here's one I just created on Northwest calendars. So always, always, always have them click up here and title their screencast. They'll make it a lot easier to find in the future. Something else that's important that they have to do before they share this with you is to go ahead and hit share and they should always be saving to their Google Drive and you want this to be a public link. If it's not public, they have to give you permission to view it and it's just one more step they have to take and it's really kind of a pain. So I always make sure they share, go to Google Drive and make it public and then save that privacy. Now then, uh, when they want to turn this in, in to me, they can do this one of two ways. They can copy this link and email it or share it. Uh, but I don't like to do that because I don't like to get a million emails uh, from my students. So I always just have a, uh, uh, an assignment in my Google Classroom. And this was an assignment on how to shoot good video where they did a presentation and then a screencast on them. And so the, the kids would all just have to go ahead, come in here in Google Drive and add a document from their Google Drive. Now notice Alexis didn't name it. Uh, and you'll find that a lot of kids end up not naming their screencast, even though I tell them, please give your screencast a name. But then that's how they uh, turn in the screencast to me. So I hope you've enjoyed this little, these little tips on uh, Screencast-O-Matic, and I hope you use them in the future. Thanks.